Welcome to Behind the Transaction with RGCF. In this episode, we'll be discussing management buy-ins, and in particular, the transaction involving port handling company JST Services Scotland Limited. Joining me in the studio is Carl Swansbury, partner and head of corporate finance at RGCF, and on the line, we have Richard Jennings, CEO of JST Port and Logistics Holdings, and Alistair Brown, CEO of Shard Credit Partners. Welcome, everyone. So, Hi. Richard, starting with you, can you tell us about JST Services and, and what it does? JST, as you referenced, is a port services business. Uh, so we provide those services to the industrial space. So what that actually means in practice is that we are loading and discharging cargo ships uh, every day of the week around the UK and Ireland. So we are largely working for the industrial sector. So we're handling anything from commodities like grain and timber and steel and aggregates and building materials uh, in kind of substantial lots. So anything between, I don't know, 2000 tons to 5000 tons. Um, we deliver that really through a combination of assets. We've got an asset heavy business. So, for instance, we've got 27 cranes, we've got a number of heavy trucks. We operate some floating piers. Uh, and all of those assets are operated by a team of highly experienced uh, personnel. Tell us a little bit about the, the history of the business before the MBI took place. Sure, yeah. I mean, the business is about 28 years old. It was founded by uh, an individual, John Scott, as a transport business and then developed into cranes. So so John was the guy, you know, 100% shareholder, and he was the individual that we that we undertook the MBI from. So why was it in, the MBI in, important to the port sector, do you believe? And sort of tell me, how does it fit in with the strategy that you have? I mean, the business is, um, is actually a market leader in what it does uh, in, in the port space. So I think it's quite unique in the fact that we operate in virtually every port in the country and in Ireland. Tell me what the strategy is for growing the business. Well, I mean, our ambitions are quite straightforward, really, and twofold. I mean, on the one hand is to, is to grow the existing business uh, through some further investment, uh, and secondly, to grow the business is through some acquisitions, some bolt-on acquisitions, and the company is quite uniquely positioned to be able to do that. So turning to you, Alistair, um, tell us, well, t- first tell us a, a little bit about uh, Shard Credit Partners and, and what you do as an organisation. So Shard Credit Partners was set up uh, around seven years ago. We launched our first UK lower mid-market direct lending fund uh, in October 2017 um, at 90 million sterling. So for the last four years, we've been investing that um, and to date, we've completed six management buyouts, one management buy-in, which is JST, uh, one buy and build acquisition strategy, and two refinancings of, well, one, one was an MBO and one was a private equity LBO. So we have a very strong focus on event-driven financing. So we'd like to get involved around the point of change of control or a generational handover of, of, of equity from um, an older generation looking to retire to, to a, a younger generation uh, or indeed buy out, um, you know, facilitate buyouts of uh, retiring founder shareholder equity in favour of the incumbent management teams. We're very strong supporters of management teams that don't have private equity backing, although that's not to say that we won't back a private equity back deal. Um, we completed one earlier this year um, and we're we're currently looking at, at another one. So that that's really sort of our our raison d'etre is is um, working very closely with uh, very experienced senior management teams, um, such as you know Richard Jennings and, and his team, uh, to facilitate this kind of investment, and then continue to invest in the business and help it grow, um, and create jobs and employment and, and all that good stuff as well. So in, in terms of Richard and his team and JST, what was the what was attractive to, to Shard uh, for this tra- transaction? Management buy-ins are not as common as management buy-outs. Um, it, it is more unusual to be backing a, a, a team coming into an existing business. Um, there are additional risks around that. And as, as an investor and finance provider, we need to be extra diligent in... Uh, and, and, and really just extra confident that the buy-in team we're backing um, has the requisite skills and experience uh, to make a success of it. And so obviously, you know, this, this is the only MBI we've invested in from the current fund. And the reason why this deal happened uh, is that, you know, Richard, you know, we spent a lot of time 
speaking with Richard, uh, looking at his career history and track record to date. And we, you know, we, we developed a very high degree of confidence in Richard based on a very extensive, um, you know, uh, and, 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 and very high profile port career and port services career to date. So in combination with uh, the, the characteristics and features of JST business uh, services as a business, uh, we 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 strongly believed that Richard and his team coming into the company um, to to lead it in a new direction um, was you know was the right call and and to date we've been proven you know absolutely correct so you know when when we did the deal back in December last year uh, the business had been making uh, three million of EBITDA every year for the previous four years already. You know, we're not even a year into our investment in JST with Richard, and you know that that figure has gone up um, pretty significantly already. So he's, he's already demonstrating significant equity uh, value growth, which is which is great for all of us. Thanks, Alice. So, so Cole, in terms of MBIs in general, are there any sort of unique aspects in in comparison with other sort of transactions? And then tell us how you supported. Uh, uh, the, the two uh, gentlemen here with uh, with the transaction. Sure, thanks, Jamie. And uh, as Alistair acknowledged, uh, management buyouts are incredibly common because that involves an incumbent management team who already know a business and the sector in which it operates, acquiring the business. But management buy-ins are incredibly uncommon, and that is a consequence of the risk that a third-party management team joining a business presents. Um, And therefore, as a consequence, we as a firm, and in fact, the market at large, see very few successful management buyouts of this scale, um, excuse me, management buy-ins of this scale. Um, So in terms of this transaction, um, as Alistair acknowledged, uh, JST is a very successful, very long established business founded by John Scott. A very successful business generating 3 million of EBITDA year in, year out for many years, Jamie. Um, The one challenge that John Scott had was that within the business he had not developed um, a second tier management team Mm -hmm. that had the ambition, the ability, the skills needed to act as the successor and to take the business forward uh, at the point when John had decided to de-risk and exit. And of course that is where a management buy-in solution is invaluable because Richard and Tanya, who's not with us today, have a significant amount of experience uh, of leading businesses in the port services sector. So the platform of GST, supported by a very experienced management team in an MBI, funded by Shard Credit Partners, was just the absolute perfect solution for all stakeholders. Richard, turning back to you quickly, you you mentioned obviously uh, some potential future acquisitions. Is there anything you can tell us about what's next for the business straight away? Uh, Well, certainly we're uh, we're in exclusivity at the moment, looking at a number of bolt-on acquisitions. Uh, And as Alice has said, the business this year has been going exceptionally well. Also, Shard have supported us with, I think, another three million of uh, capital to fund some growth this year. So the business is growing exceptionally well this year. Okay, uh, Carl, we've got sixty seconds left. So here's a challenge for you. Based on this transaction, obviously there was more than just the RGCF expertise from RG that's brought into this. Um, tell us uh, what they did and, and how common that is. Sure. So in terms of how we supported both Richard and Shard uh, in this MBI, so not only did I lead advise on the MBI, uh, which involved us not only negotiating ultimately the parameters of the transaction, but also negotiating in the ultimate equity value that was paid for the business. Uh, we also carried out financial and tax due diligence on JST on behalf of the acquirer, which of course was management and Shard, who provided £12 million uh, of debt to initiate the MBI. Uh, We also provided transactional tax advice to make sure that the right group structure was put in place to house the acquisition. Um, And overall, as a consequence of our knowledge of JST and Shard and our relationship with Alistair and Richard, now we're able to talk quite knowledgeably with Richard about the business's growth strategy, which, as Richard said, uh, involves significant growth organically, but also may involve uh, the making of future Bolton acquisitions. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time today. And uh, if you want to follow more behind the transaction videos from RGCF, check out LinkedIn and also the website.